What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you a little more news on the happenings at the Bungie Studios which should affect Destiny 2 for the better. Now not three days back we had a monstrous weekly update post by Bungie which confirmed changes they have planned for the game. Changes such as PvP and 6v6 being brought back, Eververse Engram loot being obtainable in other places, Masterwork armors and exotics and much much more. If you want a full run through of this update, check out the video linked within the video description. I got through the entire thing, definitely worth a watch if you haven't heard about what's coming. Okay so what else is being said since? Well, the one and only Christopher Barrett tweeted this out not long ago. Destiny 2 needs more weapons that matter, both in power and the hunt, to acquire them. Exotics need to live up to their name. The most skillful or visceral weapons like snipers, shotguns and fusions need to return to glory. We're on it. He then states this might not come across strong enough in the update. The Sandbox team is an amazingly talented group and are at hard work on changes. Now as soon as I read this tweet, I thought one thing, now I could be overreacting here and what I think no doubt will ever be incorporated, but I got the message of the old weapon system returning, snipers, fusions and shotguns returning to that secondary weapon slot, well in this case the secondary primary slot. Now at the time I thought I was the only one to think this, but reading some of the replies I'm so glad to see that I'm the only one who thought this in this tweet. Now the thing is, although I doubt it will ever happen, if it did, how would it impact the game? I mean, I'd probably welcome such. Having a shotgun as a secondary was quite fun for the most part. It would certainly add a faster pace to PvP, which I think is needed, but I actually don't think it would improve the overall playstyle of PvP. A faster time to kill would be great. A uh, way of making a game feel faster paced also would be great, but I ain't sure about adding shotguns back as a secondary weapon and if this would work. PvP would become shotgun haven again, it really would. Another point is the work to make such a system like we had in Destiny 1 work in Destiny 2. It would take a complete overhaul of the weapon mechanics and loadouts. For me personally, I don't think it would work as people are expecting. Destiny 2's PvP is much different from Destiny 1's. I actually believe PvP is getting better and better by the updates and it will eventually become something better than we've ever expected. That's what I believe. I mean, Destiny 1's PvP was fun, but it had so many issues too. Taking Destiny 2's PvP back to Destiny 1, in my opinion, just probably wouldn't work. But I'll leave this subject on that. Let me know what you think about this down below. Moving on to the first part of his tweet, D2 needs more weapons that matter, both in power and a hunt to acquire them, and exotics need to live up to their name. I couldn't agree anymore. I've said this from early on in Destiny 1. Exotics don't feel exotic. Yes for sure, there was the odd exotic back in the day which felt once obtained like you had yourself an exotic reward. Weapons such as the Galahorn, the Icebreaker, the Last Word and Pocket Infinity, even the Vex. These in my opinion were proper exotics but the further we went into the franchise the more exotics were added, the easier they were to obtain. In my opinion the less they became exotic. Exotics in this game are more like legendaries. There are easier ways to obtain exotics than there are legendaries. That shouldn't be the case. In Destiny 1 the true exotic weapons were the ones such as the Longbow, the Ayas Luna, the Palindrome, the LDR, the Grasper Malek, weapons as such. Weapons which are super hard to obtain perfect roles of. The chase for them was also epic and something we loved. These were weapons that mattered. Now in my opinion I don't think there's a single weapon in Destiny 2 where I feel the weapon really matters. I really need that weapon. There isn't one and without that we lose out on the excitement we get trying to chase such weapons and that is a major factor missing from Destiny 2 in my opinion. That excitement to chase and grind for something is not there. Yes this is only one of many of the game's problems but it's great to see these problems are trying to be worked on by Bungie. Adding specific loot into specific places, giving us a good reason to grind said places and activities would be great. It would be welcome with arms wide open. Now I will end with this though, as great as this is, and I've said this a hundred times, they are great additions, yes they are, the changes are great, but let's not forget, things as such should have definitely been in the game from the get go, no questions asked. 
I'm glad whatever plan Bungie had in place feeding us crap for months thinking it would do has fell flat on its face and I'm glad most people have spoke out about their actions. It's ultimately led to this right here, we being at the helm and the game slowly becoming while Destiny 1 again, which isn't bad considering the state of Destiny 2 at the moment. But yes people back to the point, a looter shooter about us shooting and looting. Although it falls into this category, it definitely trips up 20 plus times along the way. But the future from what we know so far is looking quite bright. And on that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like, it really does help me out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.